Hello, this is Reverend JJ, and I'd like to welcome you to the first episode of the Lotus Lounge. Today, I figured I would do an introduction and provide some of my background and experience, so that way you can decide as to whether or not you feel that I'm qualified to speak on behalf of mental health issues, and other health-related problems that we're all experiencing. I use the lotus as an analogy uh, because the lotus grows out of the mud and blossoms in the morning, in the morning sunshine. It's a beautiful flower that comes from the mud blossoming and opening in the light. Therein lies the moving and transforming from darkness to light. I'll share with you some of my experiences personally and professionally, some knowledge and wisdom that I've gained over time that many need to hear right now with everything that's going on. Many are struggling, not really knowing how to navigate what's happening in the world around us. And hopefully I can be a sounding board and I can be somebody that can assist in putting some things into perspective. So just a little about me, Reverend JJ. I am an ordained minister. I do carry the title of Reverend. And I uh, received this title in 2012 and it's affiliated with a spiritual humanism. Uh, So I am a clergy member of the Church of Spiritual Humanism, and I am authorized to perform different ceremonies, marriage, baby naming, funeral, hand fasting, commitment, affirmation of love, invocations, renewals of marriage, and holiday ceremonies. I have a Bachelor's of Arts in Psychology with a minor in Sociology. I have also obtained my Master of Arts in Counseling with an emphasis and focus on mental health. I obtained my Bachelor's degree in 1999 and I obtained my Master's in 2006. I became a board member licensed as a mental health counselor in 2013. I'm also certified as a qualified supervisor, uh, so I'm able to supervise other interns that are registered to become licensed mental health counselors. I have an extensive experience working mainly with children and adolescents that have been abused, neglected, exploited, uh, have their own trauma history and trauma backgrounds. Uh, I've worked in residential facilities. I have run different programs. I was a program manager uh, for several years. I worked at a psychiatric hospital for approximately five years. Uh, working with those that were suicidal, homicidal, or out of control and not in touch with reality. I currently own my own private practice. Uh, It's JJ Lotus Therapy Lounge, LLC. I became incorporated in March of 2020. I also have a regular job that I do do uh, during the day, and I have a handful of clients that I work with in the evenings as well. I have quite a bit of background and uh, experience understanding human emotion and behavior. I am not going to sit here and claim that I know everything. Uh, By no means do I know everything and am (laughs) all-knowing. I'm continuously learning from others and uh, my clients. Uh, We're all teachers teaching each other. But now I'm here 
using this platform because I want to share with those that are struggling that there is an end here. You can find peace. We don't have to stay in this level of fear and anxiety. You're in control. You are the creator and you're able to create the destiny and the life that you so choose. So now let me help you teach you how to do that. Seems many don't quite have this ability. I didn't realize that so many needed this knowledge and this understanding on how to cope and navigate throughout the world. So I'm here, Reverend JJ, licensed mental health counselor, ordained minister, also certified yoga instructor. So I'm looking forward to seeing where this takes us. I'm not really sure where this podcast is going, but it will be raw. It will likely be me possibly having some explanations and exploitive information that some are going to have a hard time wrapping their brains around. Um, But I'm here for support and I'm here for guidance. So you can check me out, www.jjlotustherapy.com. You can find me on the web. You can find me on Instagram at RevJJLotus. And I'm also on Facebook and Twitter at ZenChick. So you can find me on social media. Um, But again, my website is www.jjlotustherapy.com. You can find me there. And I also have a link for the podcast listed on my website as well. I'm looking forward to seeing where this is going to go and where this is going to take us. But I am pretty confident that I have a plethora of knowledge and some things that I can provide. Uh, I like to do some breath work techniques I want to talk some on what are the symptoms for depression, the symptoms of anxiety, what are eating disorders, what is codependency, what are coping skills. Uh, Seems that there needs to be some more education, understanding, and some knowledge, and I am here to provide that. So I'm very much looking forward to where this is going to go, and I hope you enjoy this podcast learning more about how to deal with the world around us and how you are capable of creating and making your own life and destiny for yourself.